I'm very happy to share with you in this video, this upload to YouTube, the visions, the two visions that the Lord gave me 17 months after he led me to start writing There's something special about Steve. I love Steve. On June 1st, 2015. It was October the 11th, 2016. I was reading all of the things that the Lord had led me to write about for 17 months and reading the Bible in Genesis at the beginning of the Word, looking at the revelations of the Lord that, the, that He had given me that I've already spoken about. And I was lying down and I closed my eyes and I said, Lord, is it all true? And I saw two visions for the, up to the millisecond until my voice stopped after two. I saw the first vision, and this is what it was. Imagine that everything you see is like a page. In the middle of the page that I was looking at, there was a line. Above the line it was black. Beneath the line it was medium gray. There was a small isosceles triangle, that's an equidistant triangle, with the base of the triangle on the midline, pointing upwards in the black and I could see the triangle because it was dark blue and shimmering. Its mirror image was pointing downwards and it was white. It wasn't quite as visible as the blue. I'll tell you the interpretation of that vision that I received, not that day, but later. The first vision was for those who were on the path of destruction. The medium gray was signifying that people did not really, those people did not really know where they were going. They couldn't see. Their eyes were focused in the distance. For the isosceles triangle pointing up was small. It, was, it looked like it was a long ways away. And the fact that the mirror image was pointing down and was less visible in the gray because it was just a white triangle meant that when they get there, they'll know it's a lie. And the black signifies hell. The path leading to destruction that many, as the word says, are on. The second vision started the millisecond true ended. And in the second vision, I was looking at a path. I was above a path. It was perfectly straight, perfectly smooth and shiny and at first I said it was light brown but now I know that it was gold. The path had a thin cream border and then it had a very a, a, a thinner black line just past the cream and on either side of the path up to the horizon for the path went up about 10 degrees to the horizon on either side up to the horizon, it was the same medium gray. In the distance, for the path seemed to end, it, it, it ended at the horizon, but in the very far distance, there was a multi-peak black mountain range. And even though the path, the path seemed to be about 10 feet, and the medium gray on each side seemed to be about 30 feet. And even though the mountain range, the black mountain range in the distance was extremely far away, I could see that there was no way that that path, would, if, if the road went down, it could not go through that black mountain. And on my left, which would be this side, there was a multi-peaked black mountain range. My left, over here. And my first thought when I saw the saw that was, well, maybe the path slopes down and goes to the left. And then I realized, no, this is, a, this is a path to heaven. And one has to have faith that at the horizon, when the path ended, you go straight up. Because not only did you not know how, what the slope was going downwards, you didn't know if it was a cliff either. 
and then my, the Lord, at the very end of, of, of seeing all these things, directed my attention down to the path. And the section of the path that I looked at was like this. And I saw the joining of two stones. It was like teeth. And the next stone was perfectly fitted to the sharp, the, the triangle uh, sides. It was perfectly fitted together. And unlike paths made of flagstone, where you just put the flat pieces of stone as close as you can together to minimize the, the mortar holding them together. And you have mortar of varying deg degrees. What the Lord was showing me was these stones were perfectly fitted together and there, there was no need for mortar. <laughs> A path that only Jesus could make. And the interpretation of the two borders, it may look like things are greener off the path on the other side, hence the cream. But once you pass the black line, you won't see the path to come back. And that's the interpretation of the second vision. Up until that point, I had still been asking people and speaking to a couple of churches that I had gone to and sharing what the Lord had led me to understand up until that point. But after I saw the path that only Jesus could make, I didn't have to ask anybody anymore if these things were true or not. I was totally convinced. In fact, the fact that it was 17 months after the Lord led me to start writing was not the first 17. The first 17 was on June 17th in the article published in the Chilliwack Progress, The Return of the Treasured Cedar Baskets, and the fact that the vision was after 17 months, emphasized the fact that, that the first 17 was so important for the key verse in everything was John 17, 26, which I'll say again, Jesus' last words before he was taken, like a lamb with his mouth shut to be slaughtered and crucified, his last words, praying to our Father in heaven, praying to his Father in front of 11 disciples. For in the very next verse, the 12th Judas was leading the Pharisees to arrest him and take him to be crucified. He said, the last verse, I have declared unto them, the 11, thy name. He had said to them, if you've seen me, you've seen my Father, and now you have and now you know him. So once again, I have declared unto thy name, and he prophesied and will declare it, the name of the Father, so that the love, he was praying to his Father, wherewith you love me in the beginning, God's love is in them. And then comma, I in them. He said it in John 17, that he was the Father. But just like he had said to those eleven, I am the Father. You've seen me, and now know the Father. In the name of the Father is Jesus. The Lord has given me to declare an honor of declaring through revelation of the beginning and through the love that he put in my heart for the stolen. And in this place, Chilliwack Lake, the seed, more of the seed of Cain survived the flood than the seed of Seth. And Cain called him creator, for that was his name when Cain was banished from him. For his purposes, at this time, in this place, the Lord is saying and declaring, the name of the creator is Jesus. And those are the two, Lord, the two visions of the Lord. And just before I end this, I must state that in the posting or the upload on June the 3rd, 2018, from my last posting, I made two mistakes, and I want to clarify them. Nick's phoning. Pardon? Nick's phoning. I wanted to... Thank you, Yes, you put me off track. Stop it. <laughs> 